shift the subject to a happier subject. The 300 invitations have been sent. The big banquet hall booked, and now the stress in planning your big wedding day is all gone, right? Well, what about doing the exact opposite and going small and intimate? Hollywood has inspired a lot of couples to do just that. Here's Melanie Zettler. Paris and Calista to the right. Harrison Ford and Calista Flockhart did it. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green did it too. Then Orlando Bloom and Miranda Kerr jumped on the teeny tiny wedding bandwagon. One of the trends we're seeing in weddings right now is sort of the itty bitty teeny weeny wedding, you know, an elopement or very few guests. Wedding planner and host of the TV show Wedding SOS, Jane Dias Hinch, says good things can come in small packages. How lovely is that, that you're in the middle of it all and you can have conversation with everyone at your wedding. Kim Ironmonger is the owner of the wedding boutique called Valenciennes, but in just two weeks, Kim will be wearing one of her glorious gowns at her own small wedding. We've invited very close friends and family. We really wanted it to be about our friends and to be small. Fewer guests means you can splurge on things like your wedding dress or your honeymoon. But if money is an issue, another trendy way to save on your big day is to plan a lunchtime or daytime wedding. Lunchtime weddings can also uh, be a great option, particularly when we're talking about the bar component of a wedding, which can be one of the most expensive things. Lunchtime weddings on a Thursday? Yes, I'm doing those. Why? Because there are only four Saturdays in a month. And they get booked up very quickly. And by saying I do midday or in front of just a handful of guests, wedding experts say the celebration might even be more memorable this way. When they come out of the church, they are being uh, whisked away on transport and they're being taken on a surprise magical mystery tour. Whether the party is big or small, day or night, extravagant or modest, it all comes down to the couple. It doesn't matter how many people are there as long as the two of you are there and you're making promises and vows to each other for the rest of your married life together. How important is that to you? Melanie Zettler, Global News.